And if they come for me, they'll see an empty study. It's a real mystery. Use item heresy. I summon heresy. Paranoia and corruption. You say. With the fear of devilry running rampant, the ancient corruption extended far beyond mortal knowledge, corrupting all that could be corrupted. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, he looks fucked up. Yeah. He's seen some shit. He has. Inquisition. The Inquisition was all older than that. I will find everyone who is willing to talk about all of the ch child crimes. Are we playing as Martin Luther? Fuck. I think that's who we're playing as now. Is this the same fucking church? Yeah. The church stands. Paul Luther. We're not playing as Martin Luther. Paul Luther we're playing as. So there you go. It was one of the Luthers. <laughs> no relation, I'm sure. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm almost certain Martin Luther made a point of not having his uh, his hair cut in a, in a monk cut. Because, uh, you know, his whole kind of gimmick was, you know, resisting the church and all of its stupid arbitrary rules. I mean, times change. Times do time change. You know, where, where is the church meant to be? I that I don't know. I don't think it's established where. Okay, just because was Martin Luther German? He was German, yeah. Yeah. So this might be the same. This might be the same church where you know the Charlemagne guy died. So yeah. So that would, that would put in France. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's mm. of a French robe sort of scenario. Mm. Was there? Did something spark there? A thick braided rope serves to ring the church's bell. Usually, it is the custodian's task to ring the bell at the proper times. Perhaps he'll be along later to ring it. Yes. Ding dong, ding bong. Diddy ding, diddy dong. Yeah, because they, they mentioned Amiens in the um, in the conversation earlier, and that's mm. obviously a town in France. So, we we'll would assume it's the same place where Charlemagne was. I beg your pardon? A meditation rod. Hey. The priest meditation was a small staff used as a focus for meditative prayer. Using what allowed Paul to meditate and regain some lost sanity. <laughs> yes, Paul. Yes, Paul. <laughs> yeah, come on, Paul. Use your rod. Use your rod to meditate and regain some lost sanity. Look at all that sanity just jizzing out of you. <laughs> all that madness is jizzing right out of you. Jizzes, jizzes, jizzes. All over, the, all over the pews. Sploosh. All over those choir boys. 
You saw that Inquisitor guy. He's like, I'm looking for the deviants. Those that would rat us out. He said, yeah, in fair, it takes a deviant to find deviants, doesn't it? See, the thing is, I thought we guided you gently into that segue. No, no, it's... <laughs> You guided him gently somewhere else, and it wasn't the fucking priest vestibule, I'll say that much. Uh, it was initially gently, and then it got really fucking rough. Hey, man! Anyway. <laughs> yeah, it turns out the priest here got real fucking aggressive after a point. Are you sure Bailey's was a good idea? I, always. I haven't, always. I haven't even got to Bailey, this is a cream. <laughs> this oh, is that's, that's why he's talking about jizz, he's got cream on the mind. <laughs> All that dairy's gone to his head, it's like that one, it's just like that communion you had once. Think it once. There was many times. Oh, with Paul, Jesus, he needed like six to get it right. <laughs> he kept getting his hands wrong and fucking going for confession instead of confirmation. He was all over the fucking shop. <laughs> Worst Catholic ever. I should have been like, no crucifix, no Bible, no sacred thing of any kind, on an altar in the middle of the fucking night. Yeah. Also, Paul, how long have you been here? Sorry, not you. I'm talking with the like monkey, monkey Paul. I think he just—I think he just got here. Priesty Paul. Priesty Paul. Priesty Paul. Yeah. <laughs> we see. We have in the room. We got Paul of Cthulhu, and on screen we got Paul of Christianity. Well, as far as I know, this guy just kind of arrived and wants to. Like Try he asked for it, lodgings and to see a relic. <laughs> and the guy was like, "Yeah." I'll right, show you my relic if you want, Paul. Mr. Luther, I got a real relic. I think you need to right obtain it first. Uh, we're, all, we're, we're only on the staff. Yes. Oh. Hey. Okay. Speaking of. It's a crossbow. <laughs> I had no option. <laughs> it's a crossbow. It's a crossbow of God. As we all know, no, the Catholic Church completely outlawed the use of crossbows because it's too efficient of killing. <laughs> Unless you're on crusade. There you go. Unless you can nail somebody to a black of woods with the cruci- with the with the crossbow. Jesus fuck. Uh, haunt, a host of demons prey upon humans and your playthings. Disemboweled by mocking demons, eaten and tortured by your carnal deviant acts. Get the feeling this ain't a church. Somehow. Oh god, I'm in the wanking room. I'm sure there's more than one. Oh, there's the bucket. <laughs> there's the bucket. Again, further clues that we're in France. The, uh... <laughs> the chest bucket. The <laughs> chest bucket, yes. Every good French room needs one. Well, every church needs one. Yeah. <laughs> the podium key. Hey, we can unlock something. We can. We can do. We can do stuff. What's the other post? What's the other painting? No, I think it was the. Oh, there you okay. go. A worker depicting the effects of a plague, the spirit of death incarnate, casts final judgment over a wealth of victims. Listen, we, like we were told to. Here's the budget, the art budget, and we were given no further instructions. I don't remember that um, excerpt from Revelations. If you remember, Revelations is actually just a massive fucking, like, acid trip. Yeah. Everyone died. But in. Depending on the exact line, in various levels of metal. Yeah, just weirdly specific deaths. Are you sure this is where it's used? I thought it would be more of like on the main... Yeah, on the, on the you know, podium. Where you get to deliver your sermon. As an altar. Potato, potato? Examine. How dare they not have the full regainment out in the middle of the night when we're not on shift. Look, you never know when you might need a, a bit of cheeky communion before you go to bed. You can't tell me that those priests are going are rocking out the the communion wafers and wine there, whenever there's someone's birthday, you know. Did that flame just pop off. Yeah, yeah. we've seen that a lot lately. Ah, a letter bound book. Book of reliquaries, nice. So this is the, yeah, obviously this is where we need to try and find. Right, so it's kind of just clearly a thief. Yes. Because if memory serves, books were expensive. Hmm. Only for the holy people. This Spartan bed shows how the order treats its visitors. There is no sign of the order's own quarters, and this chills Paul to the bone. The only man that doesn't need a bed is a dead one. <laughs> just, in, just in case you need anything, you know? 
Or it'd be the crucifix and a variety of other small holy items. Was there not a painting there in, in that room? Yeah, I think we looked at it a couple of times. Yeah, let's try it again. Painting, are you a looking one on the right there? That's it, there, yeah. Yeah, no, we looked at it a couple of uh, times. Yeah, fair enough. That's the one we examined. Yeah. Looks, uh, looks holy. Yeah, it looks very holy, all right, yeah. Apart from the ammunition, the room checks out. <laughs> There's nothing more holy than crossbow bolts, especially this little crucifix on the. Uh, the woman looked very well fed. Yeah. Could be rich. Could be. Could, they could be wealthy. Yeah. Middle class. Middle class French. Yeah. Definitely part of the. Uh, Bourgeoisie, perhaps. Yeah. Definitely part of the church. Mm. Oh, hello. More crossbow bolts. <laughs> Paul, don't take them. They're mine. Explain that one of the order's most sacred rites has taken place, and that the precise pre presence of a Franciscan would be troublesome. Oh, you're not wanted. Mm. Oh, of course he's Franciscan. That's the, his robes are different. Franciscans literally do are there the brown robe guys, as far as I can remember. <laughs> it's a black robe versus brown robe, yeah. Yeah, it's a fucking Westside oh, story going on here. Guys, the spell options are cancelled out. I don't know if there's some magic right now. Oh, otherwise yeah, because be cast we, as a witch. Yeah, because we haven't found the Atonal of Eternal Darkness yet, Paul. That's how, uh, that's how all these chapters have played out so far. Examine. The oh. Holy Mace <laughs> of Ball Bucket. A steel mace is mounted on the back wall. Okay. Intrusive thought here. Oh, 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 I think Paul's going to do it. Can you whack him? Whack him. Get in the room. Can you target him? No, it doesn't look like it. It's because he got an AoE. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you Franciscans and your maces. Maybe it's a lot bigger than my prayer roller. Right, what? <laughs> Have you even equipped yeah, it? Saying. I I know, and that's the troubling part. <laughs> Fine, right here on this carpet, I'll use the prayer rod. You don't have to. No, you don't. You don't have to use the prayer rod. And plus, those carpets have been cleaned. <laughs> <laughs> we, we need to find the podium. Where where is the podium? Oh, hello. I think we found it. Oh. 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 God. God. Quite literally. Help! Come quickly! <laughs> Brother Nerbert, stop playing dead. Excellent. What are the chances this is pious? More than likely. Is this hell of us? Make sure no one touches the body. It must be examined for signs of devil. Devil, right? As for this man. <laughs> Those goddamn Franciscans! Ignore how armed I am. And you are indeed innocent. Ignore the meditation rod. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a meditation rod or are you just happy to see me? Yeah. Okay. So you've been uh, cast away. I have. Oh, hello. Oh, another meditation rod. Painting captures Paul's attention. A small emerald disguised as part of the painting glints in the candlelight as though it had been some value beyond being a precious gem. I'm just kleptomania. Shit. <clears throat> Engage your inner kleptomania. Oh, I know that guy. Mm. 
seen by the man who made numerous entries into his journal. This maintained the answers to the cathedral's dark secrets. What can I do? If I were you, I'd run. It would surely help me if I run. This has to stop. They'd be it on your own head, Luther. Find Brother Andrew's journals. I feel like I recognize that voice. Spend time in the old tower investigating. I believe I can find the key to the old tower in one of my stores. Later, come find me in the old tower, and I will give it to you. Be swift. Be careful of being in the Is that voice actor in Old World Blues in New Vegas? Maybe. That's what I'm just checking. I'm also checking who the voice actor of uh, Paul Luther is. Because that voice reminds me of one of the big brains in Old World Blues. Yeah. There is quite a lot Morbius. Of... Let's see. It was Morbius. Yep. Okay. I can confirm one thing for a start. Um, Paul Luther is voiced by Paul Eddy. Colonel Campbell from Metal Gear Solid. That's not creepy. Yep. Yep, we're back here again. Let's see. I was gonna see, do we have two more statues to go? No, three more. Mm hmm. And now we could do the magic and be officially a witch. And if I'm not mistaken, I think that custodian that we just saw there is voiced by Cam Clark. Liquid Snake. Hence why it's also but was he also yeah. Morbius in Old World Blues of New Vegas? Possibly. Uh, uh, yeah, possibly. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and also, coincidentally, David Hayter is a voice actor in this. So we actually have all three Metal Gear Solid heads in this game, which I think is excellent. Is that how they got their promotions? Well, funny be older, well like. funnily enough, actually, um, the Metal Gear Solid did have its uh, uh, Game Boy Re or um, GameCube um, remake of Twin Snakes. So, they were doing bits for Nintendo at the time. So it's not impossible. Job's a job, I guess. The gig's a gig, exactly. Yeah. And we're back in the room. We are back in the room where it happens. Fuck, how the hell did I... Incidentally, um, the inspector from the start of the game, Legrasse, is the same voice actor as LeChuck from Monkey Island. Okay. Fun fact. While, I, while I'm here, I'm just literally just checking up everyone's IMDb. Alexandra Rivas, again, completing... Oh good god, gee, okay, I'm... Okay, right. Alexandra Rivas, main character, is voiced by Jennifer Hale. Who you will know more as Femme Shepherd and Samus Aran. And also okay. Naomi Hunter from Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> Are they just, re just getting all the voices? Yes, because considering one of the other female characters is... Elia, who is the Cambodian girl, was voiced by Kim Mae West. Who, if I'm not mistaken, was Mei Ling from Metal Gear Solid. 